Hello, YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, I had a request. Um, Rick Miller wanted to see a comparison between the amplified mini whip um, RF probe slash active antenna, my uh, junk box loop, magnetic loop with the preamp on it, and my long wire, uh, my 98 foot external end fed wire uh, for reception tests. He wanted to see a comparison of the three. Um, how well does the mini whip compare? Now the mini whip is presently outside the window up under the eave of the house. I don't have uh, PVC to get it, you know, six or seven feet above the house yet. So it's probably not as good as it's going to get, but it's pretty good. Um, and then I've got, of course, the junk box uh, magnetic loop sitting here in the house. It'll be sitting over here beside me. <clears throat> For a receiver, I'm going to use the uh, Kenwood back here, the uh, TS440S. It's got a nice hot receiver on it, and uh, so we're going to use that. So we've got a real S meter, and I'm going to rig a switch up so I can switch um, between the antennas for comparison. And we'll uh, we'll look at WWV, uh, so we'll have a nice steady signal, and maybe try to find a shortwave broadcast or something. Um, so we'll have a nice steady signal when we switch between, and we'll see uh, how they compare. Uh, the mini whip and the amplifier on the magnetic loop uh, require a bias, and I have built up. A bias T box out of an Altoids tin, of course. <laughs> um, and uh, let's have a quick look at this. We'll go down to the bench and we'll take a quick look at this, and then we'll uh, hook the radio up and we'll do some reception tests. This is my external uh, bias T supply for using the mini whip or the other preamplifiers that are in line. A simple Altoids tin installation. That's the bias T board there with a protection diode and inductor and uh, some capacitive coupling. This is an RCA jack here for power coming in. So 12 volts comes in, 12 to 14 volts comes in here to the center of the switch. Now this is a center off switch. So it has uh, two positions and center is off. So when I flip it one way, the 12 volt power goes directly to the board. So I have the full 12 to 14 volts going up and then being sent out to the uh, mini whip or the preamp. When I flip the switch the other way, the 12 volts comes through this 330 ohm dropping resistor, which under load um, drops the voltage by about six to seven volts. So having the uh, voltage that's being supplied out to the mini whip. So I've got a low gain and a high gain position. Flip the switch one way, I've got full gain on the amp. Flip the switch the other way, I've got about half the gain on the amp. So if I'm in an overload condition, like I'm listening to the AM broadcast band, and local broadcast stations are overwhelming the preamp, I can flip the switch over and cut down the gain on the preamp. And then this is the output here. This connector then goes to your receiver. So that's my bias T box. So let's, uh, let's hook it up and uh, compare antennas. Okay, I'm set up. Now, unfortunately, when I go to, to switch antennas, I'm probably gonna lean into the shot here for a second to get my hand on the switch, but I'll try to lean out and so you can see the meter when I switch. And to uh, switch to my internal magnetic loop, I'll have to lean over again because I'll have to go over there and switch a cable around. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's do this. Presently, I am on the mini whip outside, and this is WWV. It's pretty noisy, we got about an S4. And I've got the switch for the full 12 volts, so the mini whip is in its high gain configuration. And you can hear that's pretty noisy. So let's uh, switch to the long wire. And that's come up quite a bit. Well, it's fading. But you can see we're fading down to about an S3 and we're going all the way up as far as an S8, almost to S9 on the long wire versus the mini whip. Back to the mini whip. Pretty noisy. A little more steady, 
but noisy. I mean, we're fading between about an S3 and an S5. One more time back to the long wire. S6, S7, S8, almost S9. Much better on the 98 foot wire. All right, what about the uh, little magnetic loop? Let me switch it around here. Sorry, I gotta get in the shot. Okay, so again, this is the long wire. About S6, S7, S9. Now the mini magnetic loop. Much higher noise floor. Now that's partially probably because it's inside the house here. Let me make sure I've got it tuned. Yeah, we're peaked right about there. So I can hear WWV in there, but the noise floor is much higher with the uh, preamp on the little magnetic loop inside the house. Again, here's the long wire. Now you can see how much of that signal was noise. We only came up an S unit when I switched, but uh, coming from the little magnetic loop inside the house, that was all noise. Oof. All right, let's find another signal. Old preacher man there. Not talking, that's cool, we got a carrier. All right, so we got a nice steady carrier about an S9 and we're on the uh, long wire. Let's switch to the little magnetic loop. About an S7, so we dropped a couple of S units. I can kind of hear his voice in there. All right, I'm gonna switch back to the mini, the, uh, mini whip. Okay, so there's the mini whip outside up under the eave. Noise floor and signal are both around an S5 to S6. You can just hear his voice. Let's go to the long wire. Nice and clear S9 signal. So clearly the 98 foot end fed wire is winning big time here. Now, as I said, the mini whip is up under the eave. It does have a ground connection. So it's got a good ground to work against, but uh, it's not up. It's gonna go up about another 10 feet when I get the PVC and mount it. And I'll do this test again. And if it's dramatically better, um, then we'll probably uh, uh, do another video. But let's do one other thing. Let's go down to the AM broadcast band. And I'll see if I can... See if I can find a signal that's safe to, to YouTube. See, now here's a problem with the 98-foot wire. Um, it's got such a big capture area that even on a good receiver like this Kenwood, I have to switch in an attenuator in order to eliminate the local broadcast station. So there's a news station I think is coming out of Chicago. If I switch in the attenuator, I can hear him. Right, should have been done. But if I switch out the attenuator, it becomes a jumbled mess with all the local broadcast stations just overloading it. Okay, let's go to the mini whip. And I got about an S3 on just the station I'm interested in. I can hear a little bit of a local broadcast station. That shh, 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 shh sound is the is the uh, carrier from the, or the modulation from the local broadcast station getting in there. 
But let's switch the mini whip down to the low gain setting with my uh, switch. Yeah, about the same. Signal came down, but I've still got the broadcast interference a bit. So yeah, about an S3 and a listenable signal from this Chicago station. But if I turn off that attenuator, well wait, if I switch the long wire, sorry. Local broadcast station's obliterating it. Turn on the attenuator. It's hardly tickling the S meter at all to get listenable. Turn off the attenuator. Switch back to the mini whip. I get about an S3 and it's listenable, but there's noise. The mini whip is, adver is, is advertising, is amplifying the noise floor. So, yeah, the, uh, the 98 foot wire um, is just killing it compared to uh, the mini whip or the amplified uh, miniature magnetic loop. I kind of expected that. I really didn't expect it to do all that well. And as I said, once I get the mini whip up another 10 feet or so on a mast out from under the eave, I'll, uh, I'll do some more tests. And if it's dramatically better, I'll do another video. But the, uh, the amplified um, mini whip is amplifying noise as well. And the local broadcast, which is overwhelming it in this case. So it's a, it's a mixed bag. Uh, I still think it's a good receive antenna. Sorry about my zoom here. I'm a little too close and personal, huh? Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I hope you uh, found this interesting, and uh, we'll do a future video if I uh, get some different results when I put the mini whip up on the mast. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.